the reason you are disposition, uh, what you have to do when you are like, you know, in the following. In this formula, you see the picture very simple. You are the next power of the accelerator. And what is the interesting is the following observation that was made by uh, Crosset, Kim, and Winlet a couple of weeks ago, that uh, it's going to be even more general. So you see, instead of having a direct call of this one and same surface, you take a progression, the second you take a cipher many for with channel number one, channel number P, so you take an integral vibration of this one over sigma g, the only thing that you have to do, that you can use the same formula, is actually, this is very nice, right? nice. Uh, so this is a calculation. The same formula is corrected in the following way. I'm not giving you the details, but now there is an extra object that you can insert inside that is constructed with the same ingredients. I, I will not give you the specific form, but there is a quantity, T of U, that you can insert here, that you can uh, um, put a power P, and the insertion essentially, uh, and this time is done again over all the solutions of this equation, and the result gives you the particular function of the generic equation. What is nice about this generalization is that uh, even a space is here. The other three is the observation of the two here. So with the same formula, you can also reproduce the uh, partition function of the This is the observation by this gentleman. And uh, uh, I have no time to discuss the physical meaning of uh, this condition, but it's actually interesting. So if you want, in, in observation one, I was... Uh, I was roughly thinking of, uh, I have a three-dimensional theory, I get the compass passes through, I get a three dimensional electric, I get some quantum mechanics. That's nice. It's a nice feature that I want to use for the black hole. I get the Wittering index of the quantum mechanics, the complicated one, and you could evaluate the counter ground state. This is a different way of seeing it. The other way is to, uh, instead of reducing on the two, you can reduce on the one. So you go from three dimensions to two dimensions. And it turns out that uh, when you reduce it on the one, essentially by one loop effect, uh, you can write an aesthetic Lagrangian, the Amazonian, for the digital modes integrating out the massive fields, uh, and the result is that you get the crystal superpotential, and this crystal superpotential is such that uh, D is precisely the derivative of this guy. This crystal superpotential has been studied in details by uh, Nicholas Richard of Seizing, of integrability of each field into dimension, so there's a close connection also with uh, the topic. Uh, and it comes from dimension in the video, so there is a reduction on this one. You can find all the details in this next slide. Uh, okay, so, end of the comments. The second part comments about the, the session that I gave you yesterday, and here the third lecture really starts. Okay, uh, the third lecture is a uh, couple of echoes. So let's introduce the other side of the story. Uh, if you look at the four black holes on the bottom of the horizon part, uh, this is the object that is not quite there, and 